Joining us now in a first on CNBC interview is Bank of America's chairman and CEO, Brian Moynihan. Brian, a very good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us. It's good to be here, Wolf. Hopefully you're doing okay. Very, very well indeed. All the better for seeing you, Brian. And uh, if we may, I wanted to start with that, that share price decline because the, the numbers look very strong. The commentary, particularly outlook for the economy, seemed very strong also. What, what do you think's happened there on, on the share price decline? Well, at the end of the day, our, our company, we've been up 25, 28 percent this year so far. Every day the stock moves around a little bit, but uh, it's a great buy, and we're in buy, we'll be in buying a lot of it this quarter like we always do. Well, certainly, as you said, $25 billion you'll be buying in the year ahead. We'll come to the buyback in, in a moment. Let, let's uh, move on and, and, uh, and focus in on, on the macro, if we may. Retail sales, I'm sure you saw earlier, up nearly 10 percent uh, month on month. I guess that number didn't surprise you, given that sort of early insight you have to data like that. And do you see that sort of momentum in the economy on the consumer side in particular continuing through spring and summer? It, yes, we do. And so, no, it didn't surprise us at all, Wolf. And I think appearing uh, with you and your colleagues over the years, we've always had this consumer insight. And what's been interesting, if you go back four or five years ago, after the tax reform and stuff, the, the amount of consumer spending doubled for a, at a 5% sort of annual growth rate in our client base across the 50 million plus customers and $3 trillion, basically moved from 5 to 8 or 9%. That was moving along, and then you hit the pandemic and it dropped to 1% year over year. It is now back on track to grow at 10% rate over where it was in 19. So it's bigger and growing effectively at a faster rate, which is interesting. And if you look at the first part of April, that growth rate continues. So that bodes well for the recovery as long as the vaccine uh, 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 virus track uh, continues on and as long as people get vaccinated and the economy is open, you're seeing even before that happens, you know, through March and now through the first couple of weeks in April, you're seeing the growth at a 10 percent plus rate, which is very strong. Uh, you, loan growth obviously disappointed a bit for this quarter, but you were able to upgrade your, your NII outlook for the for the full year. Was loan growth only soft for sort of good economic reasons? And, and what gives you confidence that, that it will indeed bounce back in the second half of the year? Well, again, if you look, you know, first quarter of the last three or four years over the year prior, before the pandemic, you would have seen the loan growth, you know, picking up 5% a year as economies growing at 2 to 3%. So if the projections for the economy to grow at 7% this year, which the Bank of America research team, the best team in the business, uh, has as their projection, the loan growth will come because ultimately companies will have to borrow uh, to you know, invest and pay for their employees and build inventories. The thing is, they've been very efficient with their cash. And so in the liquidity, both in the consumer side, i.e. the pay down of credit cards and things like that, and the liquidity on the company side, the institutional side, the corporate side, commercial side, is very strong. Certain industries are still getting the, uh, through the pandemic, but those industries through have a lot of cash on hand. So you're not seeing them use their lines. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.